first. Now the third one is again going to be a little difficult. That is the vertical mattress. I'm just clearing up the way for the vertical mattress. Okay, what I forgot to mention was when you're doing suturing, it's taken for granted that you've done the cleaning and draping. It's all mentioned in the last slides, you know, chlorohexidine, isopropyl alcohol, povidone iodine, draping, gloves, you know, putting the gloves like that and all those things. All those things are taken care of. Okay. Now we are going to demonstrate. Can we flick the next? Yes. No, not the running lock. That is vertical mattress. Also called the Halstead stitch. This is again a type of interrupted, but it's a little more complicated. This is done when we want to get very good apposition of the skin. Dermis to dermis separately and epidermis to epidermis separately. And this gives a very good scar, a very somebody has not cut this fully. Okay. Let's say this is our skin incision. <coughs> First bite as usual, full thickness, full thickness. Note, far, far, step number one, full thickness, full thickness. As usual, we took a, now watch very carefully. Previously, I had held my needle like this, the usual way I had taught you. Now I'm going to switch the direction of my needle. I'm going to switch the direction of my needle. And I'm holding very close to the tip. Remember I told you there are certain situations when you do have to hold close to the tip, which is which we're doing now. Because I want to go exactly at the dermo-epidermal junction. That's going to be my next bite. Watch carefully. Coffee if you come this side. Sorry. Yeah. Exactly at the dermo epidermal junction. You can see the tip coming out? Mm -hmm. At the dermo epidermal junction. Give it a little push. Again, hold it opposite side, dermo epidermal junction. it cut through so I have to take it again yeah it's repeatedly cutting through it actually happens also in actual situation also it keeps cutting through because it's a very delicate one at the dermopidermal junction So first bite was full thickness, full thickness, far, far. Second one was very close, very close, dermoepidermal, dermoepidermal. And when I bring it out, now what has happened is both my ends are on the same side. Mm -hmm. And now I tie it off the usual way. So when I do this, did you notice something? The dermis to dermis has opposed, epidermis has separately opposed to epidermis. I'm going to do it again, don't worry. And then I put a few throws and I close it off. This is called the vertical mattress. This is technically a little more difficult, but it gives very good results. And we finish it off and cut it off. I'll take another one. Now watch carefully. First bite, as usual, approximately half a centimeter away. Next one, 
full thickness. Reverse. Hold it close to the tip. Take the dermo-epidermal junction. Take the other side dermo-epidermal junction. There. Give it a little push till the apex comes out. You see, automatically the dermis and dermis and epidermis have come together. And then, not on one side, So you can do this now. You'll find it a little difficult, so you'll have a little more time to do this. Yes, you will.